Yo, 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 this is Mr. Maddie Long and Strong, aka Shia. What episode this is? Whoa! <laughs> episode 8, right? Yeah! Yo, yo. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Yup, yup, yup. Everybody, I want to introduce to you all Mr. Never Not Authentic. Yeah, yeah. Because South Central LA don't know gimmicks. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're getting real money, let's get it. The bitches don't even wear acrylics. <laughs> Mr. Ray Real. Welcome. Mr. Ray Real. How are you doing? Thanks, Thanks for having me, y'all. Thanks for Hell having me. Hell yeah. Our pleasure. Appreciate you. How you yeah. feeling on this morning? I'm feeling blessed, man. Y'all got me up, man. Smoking good. Yeah. Hey. You know what I'm, saying? I'm chilling. That is Honey. what we tend to do. I'm chilling. Smoking some neon green gas. <laughs> shit came in a neon green shit container. Glow in the dark. I was like, what the fuck? Man, y'all got some shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, Mr. Ray Rose in the building. If you don't know, my man is a very talented rapper. I, I'm okay. And, uh, you know, and, I'm and producer, right? Yes, I okay. also produce. Okay, okay. Can we talk about like just your relationship with music? Like, when did that start? Uh, let's get um, in, let's get into that. Like some of your your history. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, really, like my relationship with music started when I was young. I'm not gonna lie. I was a huge Jay and Kanye West fan still to this day. You know okay. what I'm saying? Uh, Watch the Throne was definitely my favorite album, mm-hmm. probably of all time. What was your favorite journal yeah. in it? Um, it's the album, man. For real? The okay. album, the whole the al- it's an album. Album single mini. It from every nuance in the album, from sampling mm-hmm. all the way down yeah. to the lyrics, cadences. Everything about the album is flawless to me. Mine will have to be the Joy. Joy was a good song. Joy was a good song. With the uh, what was that? The Curtis Mayfield sample. The Curtis yeah. Mayfield sample. Add a little sugar. That shit was hard. And that was a slept on song on the album, by the that way. That was yeah. yeah. A lot of people didn't play that one. Like they had to catch that like a couple years. I was just line. about to say like we I DJ like a Kanye party every now yeah. and then, and we would play like literally every song except for that song. Damn. I'm so slept on. <laughs> so if it's you sad. wanted to probably ask me, that'd probably be one of my favorites. It's just yeah. lyrically. That's a lyrical song. It's but, a very lyrical song. Yeah. I was also um huge fan of graduation as well mm-hmm. so them two albums really like put me in a mode to want to do music to want to be inspiring yeah. you know what i'm saying like i used to bump graduation fucking skating nigga you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying okay. like going through everyday life shit that's you know interesting like, are there um, any like uh artists that are close to like your hometown that that influenced the sound as well, like California. Definitely, or? definitely. I was gonna get there. Okay, <laughs> okay. He's Give him a second. He's saying everything, but but the West. No, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, but uh, I'm a huge Ice Cube fan as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm a huge Ice Cube fan, and it's and it, it was more than music that I was a fan of him of. Like obviously yeah. Friday, you know what I'm saying? The acting, yeah. Boys in the Hood. Like it was a lot of things going on Ice Cube that I'm to this to this day I'm still a fan of. Right. But, just his brand His brand his, his whole get down And of course Snoop You know what I'm saying Yeah mm-hmm. Big, I played in Snoop Youth Football League Nice Been in countless Had countless talks with him You know what I'm okay. saying Huge mentor in life You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying So Hell That yeah. would probably be like My two like That I've like Really looked up to That's dope Yeah, yeah. Cause I remember you telling me You telling me off camera Some behind the scenes shit <coughs> saying, Some exclusive <laughs> shit But you also write treatments so yes, it's about yes. like just the branding and everything uh, for you. Uh, we also know that like how the um, how the World Series video, yes, yes, was, like very cinema, cinema like it was very pleasing aesthetically. Yeah, uh, thank you. Cinematic. Just the way the way it was put <laughs> together too. It was like you know it was like layered almost like with like different backgrounds and I I really I really like that. Thank you, man. I was uh, shot by the the greatest videographer Justin West, oh, JT yeah. West. Um, JT West, shout out. Yeah, he's Indeed. like. He's a legend, man. Very He's a solid legend. video. Everybody go check out World Series. And uh, that Ray timing Ray. of that song, I guess, great timing. I mean, Dodgers, Dodgers are going to the World Series. Dodgers I mean, is going. We learned it last Dodgers night. Dodgers is like, going. Come on, baby. Yeah, you man. already know this. So it's L.A. Tomorrow they're about to take them and go, go to the World Series. We'll see. That that'll be the anthem, I think. I hope they. I hope they close out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they have to, bro. They have to. The After, Brewers. The Brewers are pretty good. Yeah, their bullpen is fire. Yeah, their but, bullpen is fire, but I think we just woke up. <laughs> like they literally just woke up. They're like, "Oh shit!" The, the about previous game, not the one we just won. The yeah. previous game, the one that went like 15 innings or something. Yeah, crazy. That was nuts, bro. That was, was that was crazy. I was on the 405 on the radio, listening on the radio. And I almost fucking crashed the whip. Like, man, I, I'm not gonna lie. I ended up turning to the uh, 
the Warriors game, but I flipped back. Yeah, I was about to say, cause y'all, I was about to say, cause y'all lost me on the baseball talk. Yeah, I do know LeBron just got that spray can though. Oh yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? LBJ in the city. <laughs> about time. Next episode, we gotta have a bunch of a bunch of LeBron. Replace these with. But LeBron these are lovely spray. Arizona cans. Shout out to <laughs> these Arizona. are lovely. Shout out, shout you know what I'm saying? Arizona. The most consistent relationship that I've ever had with a dollar bill. <laughs> For sure. Come on, Arizona. For Come sure. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's a fact. Indeed. Oh man. But um. Yeah, them two albums really inspired me to go um, go at it. I ended up going to school, which was uh, LA Recording School. Oh, okay, that's yeah. where I graduated from. Mm-hmm. Hell music. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, was it just music in general, or was it production? It was, no, it was audio engineering. Actually, it's I went to school amazing. for audio engineering. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned all the. You know about the compressors and the DSs yeah, and the yeah, yeah. Now that's and, <laughs> and all I went shit. for the tech. I went for the technical <laughs> stuff. That's the best, like schooling you can be in like just going to school for music like blew my mind i was like damn you can go to school for this yeah this that was, and that was the thing like i'll fresh. say like fresh out of high school i was recording like i didn't know how to make beats but i definitely knew how to rap you know what i'm saying yeah. i was like mm-hmm. fuck like rap rap was my shit you know what i'm saying damn. so i'm like i'm fucking with this um producer slash studio owner i think his name was uh, omega at the time his name mm-hmm. was omega production shout out him i haven't seen or heard him in years but if yeah. he hears this shout out him um oh, yeah. he was a. Uh, he was basically making all my beats recording me you know what i'm saying getting everything done for me at the time it's lit. but i'm not gonna lie i invested in him like i was putting money up for my shit i wasn't like you know Talk what i'm that. saying like yeah i was like doing my shit to get my shit done yeah but then he was just a real one he just looked at me one day he was like bro you you passionate for this shit you want to learn it yeah because i always told him i was like bro i want to make beats too like i want to do this shit he was like just go to school for it yeah i was like school he was like bro that's what i want i was like there's school for music Mm -hmm. like like actual college yeah for for music he was like yes yeah i was like i can get in this shit he was like yes yeah instantly like i think the next day, I probably went and applied for LA Recording School because school was literally, I think we just graduated. Just graduated, but I was That's recording dope. that whole year. You know yeah. What I'm I was recording, trying to build music that whole year. Yeah. And then I just was like, fuck it, I'm going to go to school and learn it. That's really dope that you were able to find that out like as soon as you got out of school. Like, yeah, and cause ASAP. Some people, it ASAP. Takes some time. Cause I'm not going to lie, I probably went to. I went to com- I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I went to community college one day, my dog. Yeah, one day. Like I went there and I was like trying to find classes and shit, and I was just like, "This is not this it. This ain't it." Yeah, this is not it. I mean, nothing wrong with community college at all, but yeah, I feel you. I mean, yeah, I, it's, I it's basically like high school it. again, like just with a shit ton of people. Yeah, I, I was like, I just was just new, you know. Yeah, I and just, just like going through a whole education. K through twelve, like you're gonna go back and do the right. same shit. Like and nah. then I and then I was at a crossroads too with like sports still. So yeah. I'm like, all right, am I gonna go play football for real? Like if I'm what gonna do that did shit. You play in football, man. I <laughs> I play every position. I know people say that shit. Like, <laughs> this nigga was the Magic Johnson of football. <laughs> yeah, niggas just say that shit, but I really play every position. But the main position I played was quarterback. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I played quarterback. I played a lot of receiver. You know what I'm saying? And I played on a on a D line a few years because I was tall, so people wanted to like use my length. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I was I was my shit. You know, all what the I'm key saying? positions. Uh, but like when I transferred to high schools. Cause I went to View Park, which was eight man football. Transferred to Culver City, which was eleven man football. They had, they already had their shit ready. Like they already had their quarterback. They already had everybody in line. So yeah. it was kind of hard to, I don't want to say make the team, but like niggas trying to go league. You know what I'm saying? Niggas trying to get to scouted. Get I'm not trying yeah. to be out here like mm-hmm. wasting my time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. When I know I can, I'm talented at other shit or yeah, passionate that's what, about that's other what made shit. you turn it up in the music then. Yeah, because yeah. I was yeah. doing I was I was I hate to say it, but a jack of all trades. Like I wanted to do all that shit. Mm-hmm. Music, skateboard, rap, what? Like named it. I wanted to mm-hmm. do that shit. Yeah. Entertain, football, basketball. And uh we were talking about earlier, like just to almost to be able to like make it out here, you kinda yeah. have to be a jack of all trades. You have to you have to, you be have able to, to know to, you have to know more than one hustle more, more than one hustle yeah because more it's like hustle. if you don't have that team to depend on you gotta depend on yourself exactly you, that's why a lot of people figure out how to make videos how to record how to mix because they no one else will do it for them exactly and with and with you knowing that how do you feel i always wanted to know this but like how do you feel as somebody growing up in la and seeing people 
uh, come from other parts of the country that want to make it, but you know and understand that their hustle isn't where it needs to be to actually yeah. peer through because you've, you know what I'm saying, because you're an insider watching it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's a good question. I just feel like um, seeing other artists on their grind and mm-hmm. on their hustle trying to make it, I actually applaud it. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. like a, because I'm in the same boat. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not like, Bigger or better than no human or Yeah no we're artist. all at it Whatever boat we gonna make it to Or not make it to You yeah. know what I'm saying I feel like Art is art You know what I'm saying And if you You building a, a base for yourself I respect you You know what I'm saying Sex. I'm not that type To like bring the young culture down Or any yeah. artist down Because at the end of the day I feel like I can learn something from it Absolutely you know what I'm I can pick up from some tactic Or okay. yeah. something No matter how much And they can be Oh that shit weak You know what I, I'm saying I had an experience I really probably fuck with that shit i had an experience at a show where like there was just like kind of one of those speed round shows where they people were basically paying to come up you know yeah and uh at first i was just like man this is just so bad like this, i can't even watch this shit yeah and then like that and then somebody i started in the crowd probably watching that shit so the crowd was yeah i mean whatever but the what i noticed was like i looked at the person performing yeah and the excitement in their face while they were performing even though it's trash they might know it's trash yeah. no one's vibing with it but inside they're like getting their art out and i was like i learned to appreciate that in artists like even if the artist's not good i like to watch that person like just enjoy art exactly yeah i think the worst thing about where people get misconstrued and like oh this is what i don't like or do like yeah i feel like um when people try to like hustle music yeah like i'm a pimp music you know what i'm saying like oh i don't really fuck with this shit but i'm gonna do it because i know it's a way I can just scam some shit like some mm-hmm. scammer type thinking you know yeah. what I'm saying like I try to stay away from that type of music when you use you know music saying? as a get rich quick yeah, scheme yeah just like damn like I understand like yeah. it's, it gotta be a little more for me to wanna play it again it gotta be a little more than just like you know just like oh damn there has to be a conviction versus an impulse like yeah, oh I just sure. do this now sure. like, if you were called to do it that's another thing if you actually have talent in it that's it's exactly. doubly, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly. doubly rewarding. Because it's a yeah. lot of niggas out here scheming to that bag, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is cool. Like, I respect getting to the bag, but uh, like, I respect the artistry more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely like, having a passion for it. Yeah, enjoy. like, I try to listen to yeah. more of that music, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't down talk. Living up to yet. his name, ladies yeah, we, and gentlemen. We're all about, real. Uh, all about positivity here at Taste Buds. Oh, yeah. I'm all about positivity in life. Spreading you know what I'm exactly. positive oh, energy. You know what I'm saying? But. Should get real right. Um, speaking of positivity and maybe negativity, uh, did you guys hear about like the whole Vic Mensa thing that's going on? Yeah, I heard about that. Did anyone uh, I heard about that? Did you see the lines and stuff that he said? It was I didn't. I get read them on here. Yeah. yeah, I read them. I didn't I, I? I glanced over it to be honest. Yeah. I didn't even pay that much attention. Yeah. to it because it wasn't. It's not real energy that I yeah, was trying to pass it up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I saw that he's like possibly nominated for a Grammy. X. He's oh, gonna yeah, be nominated X. for a Grammy. I hope he wins it. That's that could be cool. Yeah. I hope he wins it and not because he passed away. Yeah. That's <laughs> the only thing I hope people don't get artists. I feel like no matter what, people are gonna like peg it as that. Like yeah. but yeah, he he changed people's yeah, lives. He's so actually like, a, he's a legend. Yeah. You know it sucks saying? that a, that a passing had to had to occur in order for his sales to actually be recognized and cetera, Hey man, we, you know what I mean? I feel like we live in a a very optimistic time. Yeah. Yeah. People just they just got to be able to touch it to feel like it's real. Mm-hmm. People just want to comment on shit just to get there, get in there, say Pretty it's their much. business too. Pretty much. I feel like, to be honest, I'm going to be even more honest. I feel like I never, I probably heard like when X album first came out, maybe like we played through the whole album. It was like three or four songs that I really fucked with. Yeah. But I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I'm the biggest X fan in the yeah. world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, the whole world me, but the whole world wasn't. Me. But yeah. And then he impacted me. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it was just, that's all it takes. Yeah. Just that little bit of a, a impact. Yeah. And it's sad that it took uh, him being killed to impact like a larger a audience. larger audience. Exactly. You know what I'm um, saying? Because you never crazy. know if he would have gotten to that point. I realize people appeal to storylines. Yeah. Like storylines are like very appealing, like yeah. especially when they I, have. I look at shit all the time, like, oh, look at this storyline. Yeah, I ain't clicking that shit. Yeah, but 
but I just be like, damn, that's an intriguing ass story. You know about it though. Yeah. No, X definitely uh influenced my life in a way too. I was at a time where I was um I was getting like real spiritual. I was meditating a lot. And um, just trying to show compassion towards like groups of people that I'd never shown compassion to before. Right. And like the young voice, um, people coming up in the game, shit that I didn't necessarily vibe with early on was like one of those target groups. And like the J. Cole interview with Lil Pump, shit like that, like helped me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I remember listening to um, uh, X and Trippy Red. Right. Baby, I need you in my life, in my life. And I was listening to that when I was reading a book about um, about like attachment theories and how like we attach ourselves to women uh, based off of the relationship that we have with our parents. That's true. You feel what I'm saying? So I was li- I was like, these are literally kids like crying, like you know what I'm saying, like asking a female to like stay around. I was like, fuck, like that says a lot about like the type of environments they grew up in. That's facts. You know what I'm saying, et cetera, et cetera. And I, and I literally heard it and I felt it. I was like, oh fuck, like. It's a deeper song than like surface value. Damn, you know what I'm saying? exactly. I didn't know and that. Yeah, the, a lot of a lot of artists that they try to like say are SoundCloud artists and shit like that. Yeah. A lot of them have that impact. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. A lot of them really do. Like, you know what I'm saying. For example, like uh, what's that one song that just came out? That's like uh, it has like the um, the depressing feel to it. You know yeah. what I'm saying. But that shit goes global. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because people feel that shit. People, I mean, even people if are depressed. People feel people are depressed. Like even that's saying no matter like how a, you want to like mask it every day. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, couldn't we even can't, name the song because I couldn't remember. We can't sit but here you, and say you know that what I'm saying. We all, you know, people get depressed. Like and music is an outlet for that stuff. It'll make you forget about it. It'll make you think about it. You know, and yeah. maybe resolve some stuff in your in your mind. Not depressed. A relationship depressing song. Juice World. There we go. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. the song I was thinking of. Okay. What's the melody by the uh, Juice World uh, melody? I don't know, but get into it. Get into it. I like uh, this. Um, it has like the rock theme behind it. It's a dope song. Yeah. It's a dope song. His hit. Yeah. Juice World's hit. Yeah. I don't know what, yeah. what he's saying. I, but... I don't know what he's saying either because hey. I'm not <laughs> shouting to my nigga Ahmed. I'm hey, not that Jamal in tune into art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impacted me. It's tight. that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. The no, shit people, is still impact. People speak very highly of him. Like he's a he's, he's an artist. Yeah. yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? He's an artist. Like y'all gotta let these artists Live. make art. Yeah. Talk that. Expression. You gotta let these artists make art if you don't fuck with it if you do fuck with it you know Ray real with another sound bite you gotta you <laughs> just gotta, gotta let these you gotta respect art. the art no uh-huh. huh yeah talk that cause, Go to cause that's <coughs> y'all got me who <laughs> <laughs> it just hit who <coughs> I, I introduce yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> why are they doing this to me it's All crazy right. cause I was just I was just like in the studio the other night and this girl that like usually like smokes you know what I'm saying with me was like man like now nah, I'm not smoking with you tonight cause the last you know what I'm saying the last time I smoked with you I just got OD like you know what I'm saying every time I smoked with you it's just different I was like okay it's different bro I, y'all got me saying? up here stoned it's gotta be sure. the selection cause I ain't you know what I'm saying I ain't spending no stupendous money on no motherfucking <laughs> gas but it is what it is you know what I'm saying but uh Talking about the music that definitely influenced us, I wanted to ask you. Um, this is a good time to like transition into our raps and rap segment, yes. where we talk about like our favorite um, rap to smoke out of. You know what I'm saying? Inclusive of favor, uh, flavor. Um, okay. And then um, <laughs> a rap verse that like changed our life, or like something that we were listening to, listening to recently that like we can admire as okay as artists, as rappers. A rap verse and an actual rap. Yep. Okay. One. Raws are the best papers and raps of all time. Yes. Period. Point blank. I want you guys to have that first. Yes. That's pretty much how I start mine every time. <laughs> Backwoods. <laughs> Gato been to wanting be somebody to say <laughs> the worst invention <laughs> of all time. Backwoods. Of all. Put the applause track in. Time. Oh my. This man cares gosh. about his health. I am all about the health. You talking to a. Uh, Raised asthmatic, like you can't, okay. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I can't, See, you know different. what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, I can't, I can't, but I'd smoke backwards with my dogs. I trust my niggas if they gonna pass me a, a backwood, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm all good with it, but I'm not personally <laughs> speaking of one up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah, a yeah, verse, that's you. that's you, 
Fuck, man. That's hard. <laughs> That's what happens when you sit in the middle That's of the so rotation. Fucking hard. You might want to crack open a nice Arizona. <laughs> yeah, 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 shout out to the Arizona. Shout squad, out to Arizona. You know? Man. Get you right. <laughs> First. Do I have to repeat that nigga verse? Nah, you don't have oh, to. No, 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 no. Just, just mention like, it. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's a... Just that's mention a, it. To be honest, bro, a verse that, that changed my life, it probably have to be like, um, I'm going to go back on you a little bit. I'm probably going to say Nas, one mic. Okay. Nas, one mic. That verse was fucking All phenomenal. All I need one mic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That whole shit was phenomenal. Or probably like, uh, uh, probably be Eminem. The the joint he did for Eight Mile Lose Yourself. Mm. Okay, that was a that was another crazy Impactful. like back to back verses that were just spaghetti. Dumb. Yeah, <laughs> that's the that's the line that you <laughs> spaghetti indeed. Them verses right there, are like yeah, those are some iconic ones Man, for sure. Iconic, oh my god. Yeah, iconic. More recently, I've been reintroducing myself to Old Wayne because of the new Carter Five. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I just legend, been bumping a lot of Carter legend, Five legend, legend Wayne. Exactly. One one verse from him that changed my life was the upgrade you freestyle. That shit was amazing, nigga. That Sitting in freest- a coop, looking like a racer, top peel back like the skin I of a potato. potato. Yeah. Seat way back, listening to Anita Baker, riding by myself, smoking weed by the Baker. acre. Holly grow <laughs> gator, ain't nobody greeter. Leave you with some bullet holes the size of creators. Greatest. You ain't heard the latest. Weezy at the greatest. greatest. Battle anybody, nigga. Fuck all your favorite. favorite. You, you know what I'm saying? That's impact. That's like impact. Avery. That nigga go in, bro. That's crazy impact. The thing I like, I was I was shocked by like a couple lines in there that like just just flip like how you could use words for me. The first line was, "I'm so high I could eat a star." That line was epic. that line was cold. And then he said, um, "That was before I was smoking." Then he said, um, "He said, even deaf bitches say hi to me. She tell a blind bitch and she say I gotta Let's see." see. Yeah, I remember all of those lines. That's just crazy. Bars. That's what I'm saying And Wayne is a Another one that's like Someone highly Highly looked up to Highly respect Highly like Indeed Yeah imp- Impacted my life You know My man just had an interview With Odell Beckham <laughs> You know what I'm saying Like Come I'm on man you, that was tight. I'm telling you man This, this I, That dude right there Has done a lot for the culture mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying So it's like I don't know I just feel like Where hip hop is right now it's it's a lot it's a Indeed. lot to uh we can all still grow. Indeed. You know so what what's saying? what's next from Ray Real? What can we expect from you? Man. You know what I'm saying? I got some treats, you know. Okay. I got some treats. I got some treats. In the uh, bag. What's I in for the sure bag? I for sure got another project coming. Mm-hmm. Um I got some more visuals coming. Mm. I got some more freestyles coming. Okay. I got some more collabs coming. Okay. And we then just, I got some I more treatments creative, coming as well. Um, you you dropped the video right yeah. recently with my boy uh, Devon. Right? Yes, that's hey. I AKA create I shit. Create Devon Labar on Instagram, y'all. One of the greatest oh, yeah. Boy's human beings in the world. Highly talented. Indeed, indeed. Very creative. What was that piece about? Uh, that was more just um wanting to collab with someone as good as him. Like mm-hmm. he's um he's sick when it comes to the premiere, the visuals, the the camera he's sick with everything music he's just event throwing yeah, yeah event throwing he's just all around good dude you yeah. know what i'm saying at everything he does i got a few beats from him yeah that's what i'm saying Shout out yeah, to the bro. yeah he's he's it him and don don diestro they're my dogs you know what i'm saying but um did you that pick piece the- was just really just more about expression you know what i'm saying giving him a freestyle visual because uh my instagram i've been dropping like little beat previews or in like little song previews and people have just been hitting me like man i want to like see oh, yeah. you spit this shit like mm. just teasing the people you, you know what i'm saying yeah so i just linked up with devon and we made it happen hell yeah uh i don't know talk I, i'm interested like just how like instagram you're able to to connect with people just by like showing them a preview of something like as if they were in the studio with you for a second like just getting a glimpse at it you know because uh a lot of people you know talk about the kind of music they do and you meet people and they've been talking about music but like it's rare that you hear stuff that's unreleased from people you know like when people send you something you know what i mean like there's there's something to that 
that's a fact and i just try to like i want to release all the music to be honest but i just try to be careful you know what i'm saying yeah. because a lot of people um like to not even i wouldn't say take anything but like use your creative direction you know what i'm saying be and, influenced and, by you and benefit from out. your creative direction and i think it's it's <clears throat> okay that's cool for that. you know what i'm saying but like shout and niggas out oh yeah Shout niggas out And I think yep. it's cool To do that But it's like Like you said If it's unreleased Like you gotta wait For it to come out And then you can be Influenced by it like, Exactly Cause then it's exactly. like You don't get my advantage Like Exactly Cause people are quick To like You know what I'm saying Bite instead of respect Yeah And that's not It's not tolerated, game. You know what I'm it's saying definitely, That's uh, not tolerated It's definitely a problem In the game uh, it's probably from, not gonna like, get any um, better. I'm gonna be honest. As a creative, like that's that's probably will get under my skin the most. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like that's not tolerated. I mean, do you think it's gonna get any better with the it won't. amount of artists that are entering? It the won't market? because first of all, artists ain't even being creative. Yeah, and I'm not saying it like all artists. Obviously, it's people out there getting down. Yeah, but then it's a lot of people who. Who just ride the same wave Yeah And that's cool You know what I'm saying But At the end of the day Where are we getting the Originality from Yeah You know what I'm saying Who's gonna separate themselves And that's A dope a artist Majority of artists Are more so like imitators exactly. Than artists Because For example like I'm not gonna say any names Like but I just watched nah, Like yeah. three recent videos Yeah And like um all of the videos like were like knockoffs and i'm not talking about the lines i'm just talking about like like there were just all the same visuals of this one dude who already put out a video like like that. hard as fuck yeah yeah i've been noticing a trend like that as well which is why i i like to spotlight and bring attention to all the artists yeah. who are doing something sonically different yeah um, even if I even if I don't necessarily like it, I respect it because it's pushing the culture forward. Exactly. Because I know that there's a that there's fresh fruit out there for people to be inspired by, versus right. mechanisms and systems and then that at, are set and up. Then at the end of the day, though, it is art too. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You let people paint what they want. I feel but like as you, a creative, you just gotta you gotta you gotta know what you bring to the table and. You know what I'm saying? What yeah. you what you create? You know what yeah. I'm saying? I know, like that's that's the beauty of me being an independent artist and me doing on a little knowledge of everything. It's like I know which direction I want to go. Nobody not finna like yeah steer my direction. Yeah, only me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it comes down to the artist, like what who you actually are, that's and that's fact. why I like I don't like to like judge anybody until I see like an interview or like obviously meet them you know like that's a fact because you you don't you don't know you know you so, could think i'm interested what's your what's your process when when you write songs <laughs> jamar will let us on that <laughs> um i'm like i just i start with the metronome oh I start with the metronome start with young tempo. metro I start with the metronome bro like, if you're a metro no. <laughs> <laughs> okay so you're all about tempo. Tempo is extremely groove. important to you. I start with groove. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I start with the groove. I find a bounce. You know yeah. what I'm saying? What's your... Uh, I what's get into your... melodies. You know, then I'll probably bounce it out right there if I like it. And then I'll rap to that motherfucker right there. Like how I got uh, my program set up. Like huh. all my shit's cracked. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. Y'all got to give me the money to go back <laughs> this shit. Oh, well, we, so, you going to get it. You going to get so it. Don't nigga, worry. I got like... Nigga, I got I basically be having my Ableton and my Pro Tools open at the same time. Oh, mm. computer working. Yeah. I got the I got the old desktop, like the old software. Oh, uh, yeah. The old six shit. You know what I'm Hell saying? Oh, yeah. So I fucking like, I be, I got it rewired to my Ableton. So I basically bounce the beat out right there and just instantly put it into my Pro Tools and just start nice. driving on that shit. So you're, you're pretty quick in the process then, huh? Like Over time, if it's, I've if it's got there. pretty quick, but it's yeah. it's like so you blend like sounds between Ableton and Pro Tools. Yeah, he like, rewires it into. Uh, it is I got them open. It's almost like both a plug at the in. same time. Okay, I got them open at the same. Um, time. So yeah, Let's like make it happen. Over time, obviously things have gotten better. Like yeah, you know, when it, it, started, it didn't start like that. Exactly. It didn't start like that. Talk about Definitely when it started. Like when it started, I was 
this is the crazy part like when it started i was i was trying to do that at a young age when i first started but i wasn't even all i wasn't all the way there you know what yeah I'm i was already trying to do that you get what i'm Absolutely. saying like like for example like when we were in college we had a assignment like not even assignment it was graduation then you get to present like whatever you worked on but most people's like engineers so they're presenting like mixes of other artists and stuff like mm. and i got there presented a whole song to myself like yeah, like, yeah, I just did this. Yeah, I just did this at the house. <laughs> like, obviously, it wasn't me. I didn't have the, yeah, I had yeah. the little fucking inbox with the the little JBLs. You know what I'm saying? And I just like, and then I had a, uh, that was the thing. I had an AKG mic though. Hell yeah. So I was finessing what the mic. Mind, you and remember then what I had, mind? I had a little preamp. Uh, fucking, I want to say a Scarlet. Okay, Scarlet. But I didn't even know how to use the Scarlet. I'm okay. just like, the I just had it. Yeah, yeah, I just had the shit. Turning knobs and saying? shit. Yeah, like, yeah. I think this. Yeah. I just had it. You know what I'm it. saying? Yeah. So I'm just using the shit, and I'm fucking like, I recorded a whole song on Pro Tools right after I made the beat, and I was so geeked. Hell yeah. I was so geeked. Like, nigga, who's doing this? <laughs> like, <laughs> Obviously that shit wasn't hot, hot, <laughs> but nigga, you saw it then, like dog, yeah. this nigga is trying his I'm hardest. Different. Like he's different. Mm -hmm. He's different. You know what I'm saying? So I just, yeah. I was, I love that was shit. There anybody you know, I still that, like, love that shit. Like that's, that's the, that's the thing. Like the when I hop, when I hop on the mic, it's like when I hop, when I hop on that fucking computer and hear the metronome, mm -hmm. the world starts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the world starts spinning. Yeah. I can tell like just how excited you are about talking about making music. I, yeah, yeah. I, I love I, I love to create. I love to create at all levels. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I I like to sit in on sessions and just you know give advice and help. Just vibe, and, yeah. You know, vibe and wherever I can help, and I really have good advice. It's mm -hmm. not like I'm giving you a vision of someone who don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, know certainly. all phases of because you you produce as well, so you, yes, you can kind of see everything. You went For to sure. engineering school. I went to, uh, I know all of that. Uh, producing, you, you use Ableton as well? Or? Yes, yeah. I use Ableton. I started off on Logic. Okay. I was on Logic for like a year what and a half. What made you switch? I'm not going to lie. Logic is not fucking with Ableton. Like together, you mean? In, 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 a, in a way of like oh, workflow. Got you. Not in a way of a DAW system. DAW system is sick. Yeah. It's a hard system. Yeah. You have to be very patient you know what i'm saying okay it's just you know it's just Simpler. a certain preference you know what i'm saying everyone has their yeah. DOS system preference you can do the same in everything but yeah it's all about whatever all you can do is, all quickly all without preference. restraint like to get your art right there have so, you ever worked in fl that's the one i haven't worked in <laughs> really i just feel like everyone Fuck works in FL. fl and i always collab with fl people yeah, so i just let producers. fl people do their fl thing yeah, yeah same sure. I'm yeah, like, I, FL is the goat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Let it, FL is the goat. Yeah, but I I get my my work done on Ableton. No, I love it because like Pro Tools. Everyone, a lot of editing. Everyone makes the same. Everyone makes good music on all different types yeah, of things. All Even all systems. I've seen reasons. I've seen reason. Uh, yeah, Cubase. Reason. Cubase. Cubase is legend. You know what I'm saying? It's shit that. I've seen people who don't have no DOS system. They just Garage Band MPD. You know, Yo, Garage Band has to, put out records. To, I didn't see people pull up with an MPD nigga track mm -hmm. out straight yeah. to Pro Tools. Like literally, he had his banks is all in his MPD. He yeah, turn the metronome. He makes a whole beat and then he got his settings and he tracks it out. That's awesome. And I'm like, this is phenomenal. Yeah, it's cool. Um, no, just walk around with a big ass beatbox. Yeah. <laughs> You do your shit. That's the people. You know yeah. That's However you did. feel, machines, native, like all that shit is fucking hard as fuck. Kanye was walking And if you a like producer shit. and you trying to get into some shit, yeah, pick one and learn the fuck out of one. You know what I'm saying? And and rock out. You know. What do I'm you saying? do you have any placements as a producer? Yes. Okay. Can we yes. talk about those? I have uh, I have a few. You know what I'm saying? I'm, my my main one is uh, Jay Z spiritual. That's one that I have. Uh, got one with Kevin Gates. Excuse me. Oh, we got shit. Stop. We got yeah. Stop hold right up. There. Uh, Ace Hood. How'd you get the Jay Z one? Um, I used to work with this producer that was very tight with him. Mm. When I was in, when I was interning. Was that like your first placement or? That was actually my my first placement. First placement. Jay -Z. Damn. 
First That's place. what's up. Fuck. <laughs> That's crazy. First place. That's wild. Shout out Ho. Damn. Yeah. And you said Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates. Um. That's Ace that's Hood. Tight. Larry Ace K. Anderson. Uh, A one. And there's just all connections like same similar after that first one. They just kind of. Yeah. This phone started kinda, ringing. Yeah, but it was like um, it's not what it's not what a lot of people think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't like live that glory road. Yeah, you know yeah. And like it was it was a lot of ups and downs. Yeah, production is not easy, and it's uh taking there's a lot of advantage like people take advantage of production a lot um people take advantage of young talent that don't know anything exactly yeah yeah because it's like there's people in there trying to get opportunities and stuff so it's like for what sure. what type yeah. of advice would you give to to young artists now then know the game know the game before you like know the game really agree know to you, anything know what you know what you want out of the game yeah and know the Know the game you Gotta You know what I'm saying But it's the only way To know the game You gotta play it Yeah Practice Practice You're Talking about practice Yeah uh, Favorite it's not, favorite. It's not easy You know what I'm saying Favorite producer with the AI. <laughs> Favorite producer Right now Or of all time Both Yeah Shit <laughs> That was coming <laughs> <laughs> Why not Take <laughs> it <laughs> Uh, producers now are going fucking ham. First yeah. off, I can't even like yeah, it's put y'all shit world. in words. Some mm. of the shit y'all be making is <laughs> so phenomenal. Yeah. Um, favorite producer now has to be Boy Wonder. Okay. Go. Dope. Legend of me. Dope. Just so inspired by the sound. Mm. Okay. So inspired by Sonic. So inspired by the loops. So What's your favorite by Boy the- Wonder beat? Shit, it'll be all of them. Damn. <laughs> Everything it'll he's ever made, all of them. That's tight as fuck. Um, be all of them. All time producer. All time. Man, I might have to say like Quincy Jones or some shit. Okay. I knew he was gonna say okay. that shit. I yeah. knew he was Hell yeah! Say, I was thinking to say shit. He's like, he started it all for everybody. You watched Facts. that documentary? Nope. Don't even need to watch. Uh, how about how about the documentary? Was, how about the documentary? My impact. That Kanye is trying to Quincy was trying to Quincy Drake. I thought that's, that situation there with the the Kanye trying to Quincy Drake. I just think that's like that was weird. What happened there? <laughs> weird. I just feel like first of all, Kanye is one of the dopest creators of all time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying absolutely. Drake that can't one be of taken the away. Musicians and creators of all time. I feel like it should be more of a a respect factor there, like between a, the two. Like a Watch the Throne, they sh- they could have done some shit like that. I mean, mm. I don't. You can't put Drake next to Jay Z, obviously. I, but I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even. I feel like every artist is in their own element. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like that. Watch the Throne, the Throne, that whole concept. That shit's dead if it ain't with Jay Z. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. No, yeah, absolutely. That's like not even in the mention. No, no, no. But as far as them two collabing, I would have loved to see that. Right. You know what I'm saying I would have loved to see that shit. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of like good shit. Motherfuckers putting bullshit aside and making that shit happen. You know what I'm saying for the yeah. culture, making art for the people. Because yeah, people no like what. Kanye and people like Drake. Yeah. Yeah. I no way together. they career going in. Yeah, now I feel like unless they just decide to retire, I feel like Kanye's like communication level, like has to be understanding and reciprocated in order for like the relationship to work. And I don't think that happens if like you're not like consistently like we're always around him. So that's why I feel like it doesn't really work well with Drake. And it sort of sort of makes me a little bit a um, little bit skeptical about like what's to come with like Chance and like. Yeah. and like people that he's always promised like yeah you know what i'm saying well Rick one like pusha that. t owns the company not owns the company he's, he's the, the ceo he's right? the ceo of the company yeah, yeah. So, so he's level just have to go through him yeah and that's very smart that kanye is not yeah <laughs> you don't make those decisions yeah and i'm sure he can if he wants though that's kind of absolutely West, yeah at the end of the day it's like let these artists live man yeah and people let them build a fan base let them do I feel like as an artist, 
it's most important you let them i don't want to say do what they want but like find themselves as an artist mm. you know what i'm saying like a lot of yeah. artists are indecisive you know what I'm saying? instead of like forcing them out into yeah, it yeah like, you gotta let them go through their field stages but a lot of people don't want to go artists yeah yeah you know so what I'm saying? while so we got you here you've been uh the next shit already you've been a native what's your uh what's your favorite place to like grub out here oh man i got a few man i got a few depends on if you're talking like restaurant if you're talking like some little quick spots if you're talking like mm. let's say a restaurant let's go restaurants first i like the perch perch is pretty bomb mm. okay and mrs fish downstairs shout out them they what always are they, show what are they specializing in? You can go in there and get specialized in anything. Anything they, they, they got they everything. Got they got they got a they got a perch burger that's like phenomenal. They got a ribeye that you'll die for. You know what I'm saying? She's she's phenomenal. 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 Okay. Mrs. Fish downstairs, dope little. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm 26, so I don't do too much like little 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 kid shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's like I think it's got a little older now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Eat good, you know. He good for Four sure. Quick spot, for sure. What's your quick, favorite? Oh, quick, quick spot. Um, damn, you gonna be mad at me when I say <laughs> what? <laughs> you gonna be mad at me? Like Whole Foods, like <laughs> Whole Foods. <laughs> like I like to get like some actual groceries. Indeed, you know, hey, man. Whole Foods. Like, again, once again, health is yeah. important. Like, don't be in bullshit. I try. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say I'm the best in the world, but I try. Whole yeah. Foods is great. I mean, like when in you, my kitchen right now is for sure some bananas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I had this morning—a fucking banana. <laughs> so it's like I'm not like. You feel good with you know? You, when I indulge though, like I eat like typical LA bullshit. You know, yeah. I indulge probably Wingstop, nigga. Yeah, you know indeed. What I'm like shout out Ross. You know what I'm saying? Fucking. It's a bunch of. I don't. I'm not big on fast food, but if I had to pick one, I'll definitely pick Wingstop. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with some wings. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go wrong with some wings. Uh, Indeed. Flats. If we was going to get to that question. All flats. All flats? Yeah, there's no debate in that. Like, and how hot the hot sauce, dry. you know? No nope. lemon pep. Lemon pep? All dry. No, don't give me no greasy shit. I'll take that shit back to the window. Facts. And I'll have to redo that shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. That's a fact. Hell yeah. Indeed. Well... We definitely want to thank you for coming out. You man. know what I'm saying? Is there anything that you want to promote to the people? Let um, them know where to find you. Yeah, man. You can find me Instagram, Twitter, Ray Real with three Ys. Um, I got a lot of music, a lot of shit on the way with a lot of different artists. So, Talk to. I mean, if you like, you know, dope shit, holla at me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hit them up. I, Whoa. You heard him here on Taste right. Buds Podcast. Talk, Talk that. Talk that. Talk that. Talk that. Appreciate we'll you coming, next time. Hey, man. Appreciate, appreciate you having me. That's a fact, man. Y'all niggas are really dope, man. This yeah, is man, one of the. You. This is the best podcast. I mean, the only. You heard podcast. it. You heard it here no. first. Here. That is only big chalice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pew. We out.